my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 7th of March, 2019. Article posted on the Chicago Tribune. This was posted on the 6th of March, 2019. Title, R. Kelly jailed after failing to pay more than 161000 in child support, as judge had ordered. Musician R. Kelly was taken into custody Wednesday afternoon after failing to comply with the judge's order that he pay more than 161000 in back child support. Dozens of reporters and photographers crammed the narrow hallway to watch Kelly sporting black sunglasses and a dark blue suit with a light blue dress shirt as he made his way through security screening before the hearing began. Kelly, who didn't say anything audible, pulled off the shades as he walked into Judge Lori Rosen's courtroom on the lower level of the Daily Center. More than an hour after Kelly entered the closed court hearing, he was led away in handcuffs, accompanied by Cook County Sheriff deputies. He's in our custody, said Sophia Ansari, a spokeswoman for the Sheriff's Office. Judge Rosen last month warned Kelly that he faced jail time unless he paid the child support. During Wednesday's hearing, Kelly was found in contempt and ordered into custody, according to Kara Smith, Chief Policy Officer at the Sheriff's Office. Kelly must pay $161,663 to be released from jail, she said. His next court date is March the 13th. The arrest comes less than two weeks after Kelly put up 100000 to be released from custody on criminal sexual abuse charges. Records connected to Kelly's divorce case have been kept secret and out of public view, but paperwork on the back child support was made public in Kelly's criminal court file. Kelly and his ex-wife have three children together. You think she would have learned after the first one, huh? Kelly's publicist Daryl Johnson said the musician showed up with fifty to sixty thousand, but the judge wanted the full amount paid. As you know, he hasn't worked in a long time, Johnson said. When asked how Kelly can still live in the Trump Tower, he replied that Kelly, quote, has some money, quote, well he should have brought it. Kelly was happy when he arrived at the hearing, not thinking he would be jailed, Johnson said, but now he is depressed, deflated, and upset. One man heckled Johnson as he spoke to the media. The woman who posted Kelly's bail after criminal charges was at the Daily Center on Wednesday, but left without speaking to reporters. Well, the good news is that her bail money is going to be protected because he's in custody. Huh? All he's got to do is appear at that hearing and she'll get her bail money back. Hmm. Allison Moda, the attorney for Kelly's ex-wife, will only confirm that the ex-wife did not appear at the hearing. Kelly's attorney, Steve Greenberg, was in court but did not comment. Kelly, 52, was indicted last month on 10 counts of aggravated criminal sexual abuse. You want to take a look at that second video that I posted. There's two links, the lower one. You see how this guy is an absolute sicko. You see what he thinks of women, especially white women, as he urinates all over them. Again, I don't know why he wasn't arrested for exposure. That's a criminal jailable offense. <clears throat> Cook County prosecutors allege he abused four victims, three of them underage girls, over a span of 12 years. Kelly and his attorney have venomously denied the accusations. Well, I gotta believe there'll be more women coming out of the woodwork. Bond was set at a million on a criminal charge, but Kelly was unable to post the necessary hundred thousand until after he spent a weekend in custody. Court records indicated a forty seven year old Romanville woman posted his bail, identifying herself on the bond slip as Kelly's friend. Accusations of predatory sexual behavior have dodged the singer for years. Cook County prosecutors charged him in 2002 with child pornography, saying he made a sex tape with his teenage goddaughter. But a jury acquitted him in a sensational trial in 2008. In the latest charges, prosecutors allege Kelly tried to force oral sex 
on his 24-year-old hairdresser in 2003. While he was free on bond on the then pending child pornography charges, prosecutors also alleged that Kelly solicited an underage outside his 208 criminal trial and later sexually abused her, that he carried on a year-long sexual relationship with a girl he had met in 1998 when she was celebrating her 16th birthday, and that he videotaped himself having sex with a young girl at his home in Olympia Fields in the late 1990s. This guy is one sicko, as I said in my other video that I posted on him, and he needs to be put away, and I think he will be put away, and once he's put away, he will not have a good time. Other prisoners don't look favorably on this kind of activity with young underage children. We'll see how this thing unfolds. Again, the good news is his friend that gave up the hundred grand initially, she'll get her money back. He's in custody. He just has to make that appearance on that other court date. Where is he going? Well, she might come up with some more money. If she does, she's as stupid as he is. That's sort of what I think. You might want to pass this one along to like my other friends. You might want to repost this on all your social media accounts. You might want to send a copy to R. Kelly. You know where he is. He's in jail. Thanks for listening.